We are here today with Dr. Suzanne Go, who is a pediatric neurologist, a board-certified behavior analyst, and a neuroscience researcher. She's the founder and chief medical officer of Cortica and has created, developed the whole child approach to autism. Help us understand what is autism? Autism represents a unique uh, way that the brain is developing. So I think of it as an alternate trajectory of brain development that brings with it some wonderful strengths, but also some areas of challenge. Um, and so our role is to understand these as best as we can and to support a child on their own unique developmental trajectory. What are some autistic characteristics and then co-occurring features of autism? So autistic characteristics um, are thought of as falling into two uh, different categories. One relates to differences in how a person interacts socially and how they communicate. And then another set of autistic features uh, relates to differences in flexibility when it comes to a person's behaviors or their thoughts or how they respond to sensory stimuli in the environment. These are considered autism's core features. They can look lots and lots of different ways. Um, for example, um, one person's differences in communication might be extremely subtle um, and maybe simply a difference in terms of how they think about um, or how they interpret uh, non-literal language. So maybe uh, interpreting language a little bit more literally than other people. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, there may be individuals who um, don't speak. Um, perhaps they read or write to communicate, um, but may have little to no spoken language. Autism's co-occurring features um, can also be thought of in a number of separate categories. So one are medical co-occurring features. These can be things like sleep disturbance, um, gastrointestinal symptoms, um, seizures, or a uh, a number of different genetic or metabolic conditions. There are also developmental co-occurring conditions like um, differences in speech and language development, um, emotional, motor, um, or other types of developmental differences. There can be mental health co-occurring features like um, attention differences, um, ADHD, um, obsessive compulsive symptoms, or OCD anxiety or depression. Um, and then there are some behavioral co-occurring features, um, symptoms that uh, might appear as aggression or self-injury. 